Would you like a simple venison steak recipe? Follow along. I will share mine. I have the cast irons for the last three minutes on the lowest setting there is. The venison's been sitting on the counter about 30 minutes. Same thing with the bison. As usual, I'm gonna start with ghee. Just a little bit in each pan. Be sure and hit the see more button below this video for links. If you cook with cast iron, these silicone handles are great from the Lodge Company. When cooking venison steaks, I always do a layer of onions on the bottom. Just a splash of filtered water from our Berkey. This gets the steam going to cook the onions much better. Cook these about one to two minutes. No salt, no pepper, no spices at this point. If you have a lid, put it on for about one minute. And just let the onions finish sauteing down. Once the onions are mostly cooked, I like to push all the onions to one side. Add one of your steaks, move the onions around and add another steak. To make room for the last steak, put the onions right on top. Add the last steak and optional blood. We add it. It makes a great gravy, but you don't have to. I'm going to put the dome on and just let it cook for about one minute. It has been about two minutes. I removed the dome and now I'm going to turn the each steak over and then add the onions back on top and leave some in the middle to continue cooking. Don't forget, venison makes an awesome stew or you can even make kebabs with it. Now I'm going to add about one tablespoon of minced garlic that was infused with olive oil. Beef broth, totally optional, but I use it anytime I cook any red meat. The same goes for liquid smoke. Just a dusting of gram masala. I'll leave the link below how you can make your own. The flame is still on low. Put the dome back on for just one to two more minutes. It has been about one minute. I'm gonna turn them over and let the broth and the smoke start making a little bit of gravy. We love venison, onions, a little bit of gravy, and we put it over egg noodles, and that whole dinner is complete. You can add a little bit of sour cream. Makes it super easy. And don't forget venison chili. We just take a little beef tallow we get from the local butcher, and we grind it right along with the venison. I put the dome lid back on for about one more minute. And we are done. I let this rest three minutes, five minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you how tender this is. Now, usually I'll leave it just a tad pink, but with filming, it was difficult. Very, very good, not dry. Mm-mm-mm, hold on, I'm gonna take a bite. And there you have it. Add a few steamed vegetables, and there is a full meal. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please share on social media. Hit the bell, all bell notification, and we'll see you on the next video.